everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to make a easy paper mache bowl. Um, the only materials that you'll need is probably things that you can find at home. You're going to need a bowl to mix some glue into, flour, some water, another bowl that's probably a little smaller, some tape, scissors, newspaper, a whisk or a spoon or both, and a plastic bag. Let's start by mixing our glue. So you can use Elmer's glue and just water it down, but I know not everybody has Elmer's glue at home maybe, so I'll show you how to make some wheat paste. So I have my bowl that I'll be mixing my wheat paste in. Just pour some water in. Eat. However much glue that you want, just pour that much water. You don't need a lot, but you want enough that you'll be able to dip in there. I'm just using a spoon, and I'm just going to get a big old heaping spoonful. Then I have my whisk, and I'm just going to mix it together. I do want it to feel kind of silky. This will not stain or be permanent. It should be good. As you can see, it's not super thick, but I added maybe five spoonfuls of flour and it has like a silkiness to it. It's thicker than water for sure, but it's still pretty thin. You don't want it to be too goopy, but it's really not an exact science. So next you want to grab your newspaper and we're going to cut it into strips. I would say you want each strip to be about this long. Alright, so now I have some strips of newspaper cut. Next you want to grab your bowl. So I just have a plastic bowl from my kitchen. And then you want to grab a plastic bag. And we're going to put our bowl inside of here. And stretch this bag around. Kind of just like this, you just want it to be nice and tight against your bowl. And this is going to help your paper mache project come off a lot easier once it is dry. So I just used an old plastic bag. I think there was grapes inside or something. And I'm sure you have some kind of plastic bag sitting around. I'm using some tape just to keep that plastic bag in place. We'll have it be about as long as your bowl and I'm just gonna stick it on one side and then kind of pull it and then I'm gonna pull this side too. Just make it kind of nice and tight against the bowl. So that's fine. You just want it to not be moving around too much. But I also put newspaper on the table to help keep your keep your work surface area Clean. So we have our cut newspaper, we have our homemade glue, we have our bowl covered in plastic, we're ready to start paper machine. So what you're going to do is grab your strips of newspaper and you're just going to dip them in your glue. You just want them to be covered and then you can use your fingers like scissors and scrape all the excess off. And then we will just place it on our bowl and repeat. So I'm just starting by kind of laying a couple on the top. But I'm also going to put some on the bottom. Because I want it to have a clean edge. So I'm going to go around the bottom like this too. So you just kind of want to press it down so it's as flat as you can make it on your bowl. Because however it is is how it's going to dry. So if there's a bunch of creases or lumps and bumps, it'll dry that way. And there will be some of that because it's paper mache, but you want to minimize it as much as you can. 
So to do that, you're just going to press down. All right, so I think that I completely covered this with its first layer. So once you do that, you can go back again, kind of make sure that it's all smoothed down as much as you can get it. And you can let it dry for a second. But once it does, we're going to go back in and add at least a couple more layers because we want it to be sturdy, right? So yesterday I let this sit for maybe four hours and then I came back and added a couple more layers of paper mache and then I let it sit all night. And now it's dry, you can tell because it's a lot lighter. It doesn't it's not it doesn't have that darkness and it's just completely dry to the touch and it's gonna be a lot harder. It's not gonna be flexible. So now we can take it out. So I would use your scissors and cut the tape. You can open up the bag. Okay. So I just kind of grabbed it and twisted it. And then you should just be able to slide it off. Release your bowl. And then you should just be able to kind of gently pull off your plastic bag. Voila! Paper mache balloon. Nice! Alright, so I kept my wheat paste, I kept my glue overnight, and I still have a few strips of newspaper. And this edge is a little bit jaggedy. And so I'm going to add another layer of paper mache just to that edge. So this is optional, you don't have to if you feel like you're done paper mache. -ing. But I want to, so I'm going to do that. I'm just going to cut smaller pieces and just fold it right over the, that edge. So once this has completely dried, make sure that you have as much layers as you want. Make sure it's completely dry. We all got the time to let it dry. Um, then we're ready for step two. The materials that you will need for step two are some brushes, your cup of water, and some paints. I have some basics, acrylic paint, but whatever paint you have at home will work. Something to put your paint on, I have some palette paper but you can use a plate or a little palette or whatever you might have. Now it's time to paint our paper mache bowl. I decided I want to paint mine like an orange that's been cut open. So I have white paint, orange, red, yellow, and that should be good for me, but you can paint yours however you want. You can follow along if you want and paint it like an orange or you could do polka dots or stripes or you could paint it like a, a kiwi, whatever you want, a watermelon. That was going to be my second choice. So I'm going to start by getting the orange that I want. I have my reference image right here. So I'm going to take my bigger brush and just do a layer of, of orange on this whole bowl. Don't be afraid to really glop on that paint. So now I'll let that first layer dry. 
we paper mache with newspaper, which was covered in ads and images. So you're going to have to at least probably do two or three layers of paint because we want to cover all the, the newspaper. I made the inside a little bit lighter than the outside. You can't really tell in the video. But now I'm going to flip it upside down. And I have a darker color. And I'm going to use my smaller brush. And I'm going to do some dots. All around the outside. So now I mixed a much lighter color and I'm going to start by painting it just right on that inner edge. Next step is to take that same light color and Make a little dot on the inside, in the middle on the inside. And then we're going to start to draw a line from that inside dot straight all the way till you reach the top. Like so. And then we're going to do the same thing all around. And this is going to break your orange into slices. Kind of up to you how many you want to do. I might do like six. Got three so far. All right, so I finished painting mine. I did six lines going from the inside to the outside, and I added some little dots also, but that is all. Now you have a decorative paper mache orange bowl that you made yourself. Thanks for watching. You should send us pictures of your orange bowl.